So the mindless, soulless leftists are now complaining that they're being called NPCs. So when they were calling everybody Nazis and racists, when almost nobody is a Nazi nor a racist, that was okay. That was okay with them. They said, you're a Nazi. And that was it. They didn't get banned on, on Twitter. They, they didn't get banned on Facebook. Nothing. They said, well, you're, you're a racist because you disagree with something Obama did politically. So you're a racist because he's black. I mean, that was for eight years. That was the whole thing. You're a racist. Oh, you're, and you're a Nazi. But then when conservatives say you leftists are non-player characters or NPCs, all of a sudden, what does the left do? That's dehumanizing. They scream. They say it's dehumanizing. And then they say it violates the terms of service of Facebook and Twitter, which says you cannot dehumanize people. <gasps> so all of a sudden, everybody who said that gets banned. But you could call people Nazis, and apparently that's not dehumanizing because that's a leftist meme. So the contradiction here, the <laughs> hypocrisy is, of course, absurd, as is everything from the left. They are banning every meme that's critical of the lunatic left, which is exactly what a bunch of NPCs would do, proving yet again that they are NPCs. They are soulless morons, mindless, obedient cult followers, programmable life forms, NPCs. That's what they are. So I think, I think we should use the NPC meme even more because leftists are NPCs. They are deranged. They're mindless. They don't have any inner voice, right? They, they never think for themselves. They're incapable of questioning reality. They're incapable of saying anything that contradicts the groupthink. They're all obedient groupthinkers. And by the way, I think literally they have no soul, which is why they are this way, because they don't experience human consciousness. They don't experience free will, so they try to deny free will to all others, which is why they want to run authoritarian, tyrannical societies where all speech and all thoughts are policed by the tech giants that say anything that they don't like is either A, political spam, or B, dehumanizing speech. <laughs> so, so their goal is to just completely wipe out any conservative thoughts or speech or content under the label of being, what? Tolerant. <laughs> Tolerant and diverse and compassionate. It's incredible. The self-deception of these people is only possible if they have no consciousness. In other words, the, the degree of self-delusion that these leftists are living day to day is proof that they are NPCs. They have no souls. They're not fully qualified human as humans, as I've said before. And to be a fully qualified human, let me just explain that. A fully qualified human being has mind, body, and spirit. All three, the trinity of being, the existence of all these three must be present to be a fully qualified human being. Now, you can be a human body without the mind and the spirit. And that's what leftists are. They're biological robots, in a sense. They're walking skin bags that have no souls, no spirit, no consciousness. And thus, they are not fully qualified as human beings. You could say they're human bodies, sort of like animated cadavers walking around like reanimated zombies. They're the undead. This is why the zombie apocalypse, it's often said, is already here. You see it. It's in the universities. It's on TV. It, it is CNN. But these people are, are walking zombies, but not human beings. To be a human being, you would have to have a sense of consciousness, an inner voice, You'd have to have a sense of morality. You'd have to have empathy and compassion for other human beings to protect their liberties and their rights and their unique independent voices. So the, the definitions are, are really self-evident at this point. So anybody on the left who runs around saying that all those who disagree with them must be murdered and executed, which is basically what all leftists believe now, they can only do that because they have no consciousness, no empathy, no compassion. Thus, 
they are not really human beings. They say things that are given to them by a script, basically. Things that they see on TV, things they see in the, in the news, things that they get on social media, things that their friends say. So they're just regurgitating scripts, which is what robots can do. This is what AI can easily do. These are things that do not require human thought or human beingness, you might say. All they require is mindlessness to regurgitate false ideas at any given moment. That's what they do. So they don't even demonstrate. In, there's no evidence that they're actually alive as, as fully qualified human beings. Now, of course, they say, well, you're dehumanizing. You're dehumanizing. No, you are dehumanizing yourself by not acting human. A real human would be somebody who actually expressed, you know, evidence of consciousness, evidence of independent thought, evidence of real empathy for fellow human beings, and so on. What you demonstrate is mindless drivel. What you demonstrate is the power of human skin bag biological puppets to regurgitate talking points. And this is why, by the way, these mindless, soulless leftists cannot debate. They are incapable of rational thought. They're incapable of reason. And if you try to debate them, they break down into crying and screaming and accusing and name calling. You're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. Just crying and screaming. This is all they can do. Because the emotional part of the, the brain stem is still functioning. But the logical reasoning part is not there because there's nothing to connect it to in terms of a spirit or a soul. Without a spirit, you cannot have free will. You see, the, the mind and the soul is a non-physical part of your being that interfaces with the physical brain. The brain is like a physical hardware, firmware interface with the non-physical soul. But in order for the brain to function at a high level, the non-physical soul has to be interfacing with it so that there can be unique thoughts and unique ideas and free will and the self-realization of consciousness you know, I think, therefore, I am, you know, get into the philosophy of it. A conscious being realizes that consciousness is universal, but an unconscious person, a biological skin bag, i.e. an NPC, is someone who is not fully human because the, the mind has been cut off from the brain. The soul, in other words, has been cut off from the body. The soul is not there. The lights are on, but nobody's home. You look into their eyes, this is why so many of these leftists, they just look like soulless demon creatures. And there's a theory that some of them are demonically possessed because the, the lack of the human soul creates sort of a, a vacuum into which demonic souls can now come in and start to occupy that human body with a demon spirit. And I don't, I don't know if that's just folklore. I don't know if that's actually true? I don't know. There's a lot of Catholic priests that claim they're doing a lot of exorcisms these days. But whether that's a metaphor or, or literal truth, I'm not sure. But I do know now it's, it's obvious that many of these people have no souls. So they are soulless, empty vessels that can be programmed through culture and programmed through information sources and perhaps possessed by demonic spirits, if, if you believe that. And these people become Democrats. These people are liberals. These people are not human beings in the full sense of the, the definition. And this is why they must be defeated. This is why they love murdering babies. This is why they hate life. This is why they hate individual liberty. They, they believe in totalitarian uh, consensus societies ruled by authoritarian tyrants that demand obedience among the masses. Because that is consistent with their existence that lacks a soul. They are just waiting to be programmed. And so they think that everybody should be programmed. That's not a, an alien thought to them. Programming people to say what the authorities want you to say, that's a normal part of their existence. Because that's all that they are. And so, of course, they project that onto others. They don't understand the concept of free will. They don't understand what it means to experience consciousness because they don't have consciousness. They are not human beings. I've said this many, many ways in, in the full sense of the term. They are empty, hollow shells 
of animated human bodies. So some fascinating things to consider in all of this. Obviously, you can't let these people rule over those of us who are aware and conscious. So you got to defeat the NPCs. Remember, they vote, too, and they vote for whoever they're programmed to vote for. They're told who to vote for. They go vote. So we, the conscious beings, are going to have to outvote them in order to keep them out of power so that they don't rule over us with their mindless, soulless tyranny. The NPCs are a danger to actual conscious beings. That's, that's the critical point to keep in mind. In any case, you can read more about this at naturalnews.com or listen to my podcast at healthrangerreport.com. Thanks for listening. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.